live look downtown, and as you can see, oh, the sun is setting. Look at it's cascading that sun back on the big high rises here in downtown Chicago. Looks terrific. It's just nice to see the sun, Steve. I'm coming after all those days, eight days in a row toward the end of January where we didn't have any sunshine. And now it's, it's nice for it to return, even sunnier tomorrow, but it's going to get colder. I think you can deal with it. It's not extremely cold, but uh, the kind of cold we haven't been used to for a while. The temperatures are still in the 30s outside. And uh, Ken says uh, he's got 35 and the sun symbol was up some sun today. Go February, especially if it acts like it is. And there's a beautiful blue sky that was out in Plainfield this afternoon. Uh, did you get these snow showers? Some of those uh, passed through the area earlier today uh, up in Evanston. Hank has got a uh, cloud symbol up, but it's 35 degrees, a nice crisp afternoon. Had a brief snow shower in Evanston this afternoon. I was in Evanston today. I want to show you some future meteorologists surrounding me. This was at the Haven Middle School, and uh, we talked about all sorts of things weather-wise and career-wise. They had a nice career day today, and boy, is the weather changing. Up in Evanston, you'll get down to about 15 degrees. Chicago, 14. Up in Lake Forest, about 12. You live near Huntley, 10 degrees for the overnight low. All of these are below normal for this time of year. So we go from one extreme to the other. Sun will be bright in the morning, but look at what else with that cold wind blowing. Wind chill could be near zero in the city at two around Merrillville and two in Mantino. It's going to feel like it's four in Morris. So bundle up even below zero wind chills are possible up north and northwest of the city. What's going to happen is that the clouds will part and we're going to lose what heat we had today with that clear sky and uh, it'll stay that way tomorrow after this front passes by. So front pushes through, cold air takes over and it takes over for a couple of days. It won't be long lived and you can see future cats painting our sky tonight with a partly cloudy sky and the clearing conditions as the night wears on. Might even be a bright sky in the morning. So as we take a look at the next 24 hours or so, we know we're in the teens for the start of the day. Uh, the wind chills could be in the single digits during the first half of Thursday, even though we'll have that bright sky. Temperatures through the day, 22 degrees around the time you have lunch, 25 at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All these numbers below normal for this time of year. Other uh, parts of the area for Thursday afternoon, 23 for Zion, 25 for Aurora, 25 degrees for Joliet by the middle of the day. Same thing for Kankakee and uh, for North Northwest Indiana. So here's the way we see the next seven days. It's a two day spurt of this kind of bitter blast. And then uh, the next chance of snow, by the way, may be after dark and before midnight on Saturday, a light snow. Don't worry, the 40s come back again by yes. Tuesday of next it's week. It's February. I can't believe you said 40s in February. Yes, indeed. We'll push on through there. Yeah. Thanks, right. Steve.